So this project came to us in 2018 at Easter time. Uh, it was introduced to us by Christine Losekat, who was the creative director on the project, in conjunction with the creative agency Cheerful 21st. Their brief was very broad. BBC Studios are content makers. They needed a platform at MIPCOM to meet other broadcasters from around the world to host meetings and seduce them into buying their content. This was a big project for Stage 1. It was probably the biggest demountable pavilion we've ever created. It was 35 metres long by 15 metres deep by 7 metres tall. Uh, there were huge amounts of steel work in there to create the frame and the core units uh, and additionally a whole pile of work to create the petals which form the aluminium facade. The facade for MIPCOM is made up of two, two elements, the ground floor and the first floor. The first floor in itself was a bit of an engineering feat really. Um, they, they wanted the front to open so the facade was made up of aluminium ribs and all of these what we call petals so there were discs all at different angles so when you were inside the pavilion you could see out but from the outside it almost looked like a solid solid surface in total there there were 9250 discs cut for all the petals so each rib which was 50 by 25 um, it was hung on basically a little carriage so four wheels sat in a track and down at the bottom there was a runner as well so it just just slid in a piece of track really <laughs> so it was, it was connected together so with it with a slide so when you open it they would concertina up and when you went to close it it would go to 150 mil and then it would pull the next one with it so the design process itself took more than a year to, to get right and then we started drawing uh, in earnest at the beginning of summer uh, and then we started fabricating midsummer, and we were really fabricating right up to the last trucks leaving. And uh, the build time was six days. It was astonishingly tight for a structure of this, this size. So we worked 12 shifts um, of uh, 12 hours each, so it was 144 hours of build, uh, and uh, we finished it just in time. I guess design was largely driven by the short amount of time that we had on site. When you took a step back when this thing was complete, it looked like a permanent structure. It, it, it was remarkable. But of course it wasn't. It had to be erected and then demounted in very short order. So all the design detailing uh, worked around getting this thing built and, and de rigged from site very, very quickly. It's always great to see the pavilion in, in use uh, with the client and the client's guests. Um, it it's always astonishes me that you know a few hours before opening the whole thing looks like a building site and then remarkably uh, we turn it around with 